Hotspot is a profiler GUI for Linux. It's based on the Linux perf tools. Let's record a new profile to inspect the CPU performance of a C++ application. We'll launch a new application and record it from the beginning. Alternatively, you could also attach to a running process or profile the whole system. Defaults are usually sufficient, but more advanced settings are available. The application is started and profiled by Perf. The demo application draws the famous Mandelbrot fractal. Looks pretty, but resizing the window is extremely laggy. The profiler will tell us where the CPU time is spent. Click the button to view the profiler results. Hotspot allows you to visualize the profiling data in different ways. First, the summary page. We are missing some debug symbols for system libraries, which may lead to confusing results such as broken backtraces. Here, we can thankfully ignore this. Here's the summary of the profile run. Number of processes and threads, number of samples, and total count of CPU cycles. And a list of top hotspots. We already see that some math functions in drawing the Mandelbrot set seem to be the culprit. Finally, at the bottom, you see a summary of the system information where the data was recorded. Here, we are digging more into the data using the bottom up cool stack view. Here, we see backtraces from the bottom, where the CPU time is spent, up to the top, for example, main parentheses. Every entry shows its aggregated CPU cost at a fraction of the total CPU cycles. Hotspot shows the inline frames and eventually we see that Hypot is called by Draw Mandelbrot. The timeline, at the bottom, can be used to filter the data on top based on CPU core, process thread and time. Filtering on the QXCB event loop thread, we see that it's not spending a lot of resources. Undo. Searching the lists by function symbol name or library or executable name. What is the contribution of QColor here? Not a lot. Let's zoom in a bit to visualize how Perth actually operates. It's a sampling profiler. At high zoom level, we see when it's taking a sample. Looking at the statistical ensemble, we can then find the big hotspots in your application easily and with low overhead. Now, a top down view. It's the inverted cool stack view. We start with the main and go down. The cool stacks are often very deep, making this representation difficult to navigate. So instead, let's visualize the same data in graphical form, as a flame graph. In a flame graph, the cool stack frames are put on top of each other and get a width that resembles the relative cost. The wider something is, the higher the cost is. The flame graph view can be dynamically filtered using the timeline, just like the data tables. When you click on an item in the flame graph, the view zooms in so that you can inspect the child frames. You can go back out to get the full overview again. By default, the flame graph visualizes the top-down call stacks. You can change that and show the bottom-up view instead. Profiling is all about looking at the same data in different ways. You want to find functions in your code that are more costly than you expect. Note how the biggest blocks in the bottom-up flame graph view represent the top items in the bottom-up cool stack view. And, if we change back to the top-down view, the biggest blocks in the flame graph view represent the top items in the top-down cool stack view. It's all the same data. So, now we have a good overview of where CPU time is being spent, but so far, we only saw function names. What about source files and line numbers? The cooler cool e view in Hotspot shows the cost aggregated by function on top. You can jump here from all of the other views via the context menu. The view is searchable so that you can easily find functions you are interested in. 
Below the aggregated function view, you see details for the selected function. Who calls this function? What functions does it call in turn? And finally, what lines of code actually consume the most CPU resources? We see the self cost and the inclusive cost for every line of code. Via the context menu, we can jump directly to the line of code and start optimizing it. You can pick your favorite editor or IDE for the job. The profiler brought us in the inner loop of the Mandelbrot fractal computation. Optimizing that code is left as an exercise to the watcher. Hotspot was developed by profiling expert Millian Wolf, senior software engineer at KDAB. He wrote the Hotspot tool to simplify finding profiling issues and help make a complex workflow easier. Performance issues are a common problem developers face in any field. Solving them is especially important for embedded development. To learn more about profiling in Hotspot, you can attend our debugging and profiling on Linux training, or book a workshop.